Kai Havertz has rapidly risen from prospect to bona fide star and team leader for Bayer Leverkusen. There are so few who have his level of experience at his tender age coupled with his astronomical talent, but everyone has to start somewhere in their footballing journey. For Havertz, his story began in the village of Mariadorf, just north of Aachen. It's where the attacking midfielder grew up and took his first steps into the world of football, which was certainly a family affair. My grandpa really got me into football, Havertz told Bundesliga.com. He helped me take my first steps. Obviously, my brother and father also did their bit to get me out there playing at an early age. Everyone was football crazy, and we were just a football family. We loved football and everything revolved around it. So I grew up with it and that's how this passion developed. And play at an early age is exactly what he did, joining his first club as a youngster, Ailman near Mariadorf, aged just four. His grandfather, Richard, was the longtime chairman at the club and some say he passed on his own gift for the game to his grandson. People were always saying I had the potential to make a career of it, Havertz said. But then it's still 10, 12 years to work to get the chance to play in the Bundesliga or any other top league. After playing most of his time with Mariadorf in age groups two years above his own, in 2009, age 10, he joined Dalemania Aachen, the biggest club in the region. At that time, they were a Bundesliga 2 side, and Kai was a regular fan. Watch, Havertz's attacking masterclass unlocked the best time was when Eric Mayer was playing up front, Havertz explained. Arkan had some fantastic players over the years, some of my own early heroes. The youngster only lasted one year at Arkan, though. Not because he wasn't good enough, but because he had shown he was too good. Scouts had been watching Havertz play since back in his days with Mariadorf but it was one particular game against Leverkusen, while with Aachen, which made one scout take a real second look at the young star. Kai was playing for Ailmania Aachen's under-12s, he was a year younger than everyone else and playing against our Leverkusen's under-12s, said Slavomir Czarniecki, a youth coach at the Bay Arena. I don't remember exactly how the game finished, 8-3 for us I think, but he scored their three goals. That was my first impression of Kai. Kai Havertz led his Bayer Leverkusen U17 side past Borussia Dortmund in the German final. Imago Havertz joined Leverkusen in the summer 2010 and continued his progression through the club's youth ranks. Up to that point, the left-footed playmaker had overcome every obstacle in his path, obstacles in his control that is, but then Kai's own body decided to make life hard for him in the middle of his development, providing the first challenge Havertz had to face that was out of his control. At 14 or 15, I was still one of the smallest players in the team, Havertz said. Then I went through a pretty dramatic growth spurt. I had to get used to my legs being longer, it affects the whole way you play football. There was definitely a bit of a struggle, especially at the U15-U16 level. I wasn't starting as many games, spending more time on the bench. A player of that talent wasn't about to let that change stop him in his tracks. Havertz came through those teething problems to help Leverkusen win the German U17 title in 2016. The teenager scored 18 goals in 26 games, including the opening goal in the 2-0 win over Borussia Dortmund in the final, to lead his team to glory. Nine months later, he played at the Signaly Dinner Park for the first team against BV Baywatch. Havertz on the Bundesliga that was just one of 24 Bundesliga appearances he made for Leverkusen in his debut season for the club, as well as three in the UEFA Champions League, having become the club's youngest ever debutante against Werder Bremen in October 2016. Four goals and six assists in the Bundesliga made a lasting impression on the league, and his teammates could see they were in the company of a rare talent. He's got great composure and technique, 
and his decision-making is usually spot-on, said Leverkusen striker Kevin Volland. I've seen him come right through into the first team since I joined the club and his development has been incredible. He's quickly become especially important to us. While Havertz was making his first splashes on the pitch, it was also a crucial time off the pitch. He was finishing his exams at school around the time he had broken into the Leverkusen first team, which led him to create some interesting news stories, and personally difficult moments to have to manage. Havertz explained one of those in particular when asked about the hardest moment of his career so far by Bundesliga.com. Tweet translation, a good finish is important, not just on the football field. Good luck Kai Havertz with your exams. I had to do my secondary school exams at the same time as playing in the DFB Cup, Havertz explained. I had an exam on Wednesday. After an away game on the Tuesday evening that went to extra time and penalties, I got home relatively late and had to do an exam the next day. I don't want to talk about how the exam went. Havertz even missed a Champions League last 16 clash with Atletico Madrid to finish his exams, with Leverkusen giving him three days off during the week to complete his A-levels. After missing only four league games in his second season in the German top flight, Havertz made himself abundantly aware to anyone who had somehow not previously noticed his extraordinary talent in his third full campaign with Leverkusen last season, scoring 17 league goals at the age of 19. Kai Havertz has become the star of the show for Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. Flynn doing so. He became the youngest player to reach 30 Bundesliga goals and in December 2019, against Cologne, Havertz became the youngest player to make 100 Bundesliga appearances, at just 20 years, 6 months and 4 days old. And it's now, at 20, where Havertz has become a true leader for Leverkusen with the footballing world his oyster. In the blink of an eye, He's turned from hopeful to unquestionable in terms of talent and the next German football star. Let's block ads. Why?